Hey everyone, Callie here. I wanted to jump in here and just share something that I was thinking about on the nervous system and how incredible the nervous system is at taking in information and making decisions for us and how the nervous system truly is the lens of everything that we are um, experiencing and feeling and why this is true for our horses as well. So if you're part of our community here, you probably know that right now we have gentle body work open with Jim Masterson. And the more that I understand about the body and the nervous system, the more that I see the wisdom in this work. So I have followed the Masterson method. I've you know practiced the techniques. I'm not a practitioner, but I have practiced the techniques on my own horses um, and had the book for years. But I'll be honest, it wasn't until I started deeply studying the nervous system and polyvagal theory that I really saw more and more of the wisdom behind it. And that's why that's what I want to just speak to a bit in this little video. So thank you for everyone that's jumping on. Good to see you, Paul and Jan and Rosemary, Beverly, Lynn. Thank you so much for being here. And I would love to hear from those of you that are jumping on just leave me one comment and tell me what is a way that you have seen horses release tension because this is really related to what we're going to be speaking about so what's the way that you've seen horses release tension put that in the comments in the meantime i want to just explain a little bit about what the nervous system does for us and when i say us i'm referring to us and our horses i'm referring to both of us because the nervous system works in very similar ways uh, for mammals we are a mammal and so is our horse so the nervous system takes in information about the world around us it's sound it's the things that we see it is um, internal feeling it's it's monitoring our internal sense. Um, it is taking in an incredible amount of information, external and internal. And, and then what it does with that information is one, it creates what we perceive. So it kind of allows then what comes through to our conscious perception and our conscious understanding. And it also affects the things that we feel. So I just finished the Embodied Riding webinar series, and through the series, we were doing a lot of movement and talking about the body, and one of the big subjects with that for riders was pain. And this is something, too, with the Masterson Method, we are looking at helping our horses feel better by releasing tension and often releasing pain so that they can feel better, so that they can perform better. But to understand the nervous system role in pain, the nervous system is what determines the amount of pain that is felt. Again, whether it's us feeling it, whether it's our horse feeling it. And here's an example to understand that. If you're running along and you sprain your ankle, you're immediately going to get pain in your ankle that is gonna to want to make you stop running right away, take the weight off of it and take care of that ankle. But if you're running, you sprain your ankle and then a few moments later, a bus appears that's hurling at you. Your brain is going to lessen the pain in that ankle enough that you can sprint out of the path of that oncoming bus. So that's what I mean by the nervous system taking in information, making um, decisions about the safety of the situation, and then changing what we experience, including the pain that's felt. And again, this happens so much for our horses as well. And why um, often, you know, as a trainer who has specialized in working with kind of the so-called problem horses, why I would find that horses that had high levels of um, stress that were really anxious, they often had a lot more body problems too. And the two were very related, were very interconnected. So this is where the wisdom of the Masterson method comes in because the nervous system is going to release tension, is going to lessen the feeling of pain um, when, well, pain is, it's not gonna necessarily completely lessen it with safety, but it's going to change with safety and often high levels of stress can actually increase the amount of pain that's, that's experienced. So when there is more safety, 
the this tension that's held can then be released and in the Masterson method, there's so many times working with Jim, seeing him teach at the clinic and going through this program that he would um, demonstrate and talk about the importance of just being, not having an agenda of going in and manipulating something on the horse's body, not even going in with the idea to fix something, but instead really just being. And what that helps to do is create the feeling of safety for the horse. And with that feeling of safety, then the horse's body can allow that tension to release. And it doesn't take big efforts, big manipulations, big technique. It doesn't take a, um, a really, you know, intricate knowledge of anatomy in order to help the horse find these releases. So that was just method, just my, my thought for you today on the master said method is making this connection and understanding the nervous system, how it takes in all the information from our world and affects what we perceive, how we feel, how we behave and how the feeling of safety can change that. And that feeling of safety and letting go of tension is really a state that our bodies want to be in, that our horse's bodies also want to be in. So with the Masterson method coming in with these gentle techniques, it allows for that state to happen and for those releases to happen as well. So I hope that you will consider joining us. For those of you that are already in, I see some familiar names. Welcome. Really excited to have you in Gentle Body Work with Jim Masterson. Enrollment is open for this uh, first group through July 18th. So there's still some, some time to read about it, to check it out. Just let us know if you have any questions. We would love to have you join and join in the live stream as well for the clinic that will be happening in September. Thank you, everyone. Great to have you here. I'll see you soon.